and my name is Kiriath and today we are going to take a look at Kritzer the Rat Prince. It's part of a new thing they're doing in March which is New Model Monday. It does seem to be only March. It says every week throughout March. I'll be honest, I got hopeful for a second. I was like, are we just going to get new stuff every single time? Although we get shown new models pretty frequently, but still, still, I'm not going to complain about extra shinies to gawk at because we like a bit of shiny gawking around here. So this time, this Monday, we need to say hello to the Rat Prince. I'm aware it's Tuesday, by the way. Don't worry about it. Look, we did the ramble yesterday, and then I had to go and look after kids, and, you know, my kids, I should specify. Just want to throw that out there. So uh, I didn't have time to cover this as well. But it's fine. We get there in the end. It might be a day late, but we manage it. Anyway, today, we need to say hello to Kritzer, the Rat Prince. I'm not actually going to say hello to him, because that'll be mental. That is a fancy lad. I will say straight away that I think they're absolutely knocking it out of the park with the fantasy stuff at the moment. The Age of Sigma stuff. Sorry, sorry, I said I said the F word. Can't can't be throwing that around. You know what I mean? I really, really like this. They're just doing all sorts of weird, kind of creepy, very expressive models. It feels like there's just been just a lot of like cool little details across everything. There's been a lot of character to this stuff recently. Like a huge amount of character. In fact, to be fair, a lot of the Age of Sigma stuff that they've done in like recent, not even recent times, pretty much since the since the launch of it, has been pretty pretty loaded with fun, cool, unique ideas. This is just another example, and admittedly, I do think the the overall feel of this stuff has just got even better in recent months. I mean, when we look at the stuff for Cursed City, like the Soul Blight Grave Grave Lord Grave Graveyard, <laughs> you know what I mean? That which this is undoubtedly a part of, I, I'm, I'm really liking what they're doing. I'm really liking what they're doing. So you've got this tall, I'd say, I'd say relatively kind of androgynous sort of figure, or at least like in the, in the shape of the body, at least. Like, those are, those are, those are slim legs. Those are slim legs. We've got a tall, slim, slim fella here with a very, very over-the-top coat. I like the coat a lot. The cloak being giant rats. I don't know if it's actually a cloak or whether it's... Are they alive or dead? I think they're dead. They've got white eyes, so it, it, it kind of looks like they're dead. But can you see down the bottom there? On the left, screen left, there's like rat tails poking out of the bottom of the coat. That is creepy as anything. That that's, That is genuinely creepy. I do not like that. I, well, I like it, but I also don't like it. That's why I, that's why I like it, because I don't... So this well-dressed fellow hails from the Virgos, Viagos dynasty of soul blight vampires, as you can probably tell from his fancy attire. Christmas was once counted amongst the nobility of Ulfenkarn. Excellent, nice bit of a cursed city reference there. Unfortunately, his attempts to secretly undermine the lord of the land led him to an ill fate, and he was horribly mauled by Radikar the wolf, who is not an ogre, by the way. They said on the like, I went back and I checked the stream, and they did. They said he was an ogre. And I thought he was an ogre, because he's massive, and they've got the two ogre zombie bodyguards. No, he's just a bloke. Just a massive bloke. Absolute nonsense. I demand ogre vampires. Give them to me now. Anyway, against all odds, Chris escaped by heaving himself onto a corpse cart and playing dead among the lifeless bodies it carried. That's a cool bit of a... Uh, cool bit of... Cool little thing there. He sustained his ravaged body by feasting upon the blood of the rats he found gnawing on the corpses stowed alongside him. That is grim... AF. Kritzer soon discovered he'd been unwittingly granted the blood kiss by his ferocious assailant and was slowly evolving into one of the soul blind. You may have noticed the Rat Prince is fabulous, or should that be verminous cloak, and somewhat murine? Murine? Appearance. What does that mean? I'm going to do excuse me one moment. Uh, oh, it just means relating to or affecting mice or related rodents. I probably could have guessed that. I don't know that that was necessarily, like, worth the Google, but there you go. Well, it appears his unorthodox transformation into a vampire had some unusual side effects. In addition to being accompanied by his vermin tide of rats, <laughs> both living and undead, Critter can transform into a swarm of rodents to evade his foes. That is it's so creepy. <laughs> like, it really is properly creepy, that. For a start, having the multiple angles there of the uh, of the rat cloak puts me in mind of the... I don't even know if this is a real thing. It's, what's it called? A rat king. Where a bunch of rats get the tails tangled together, and they're like, they're like one mass of, of like horrible, seething, wriggling rat bodies, but they're all like stuck together. I think it's called a rat king. It makes me think of that. And the massive 
tails coming out under the cloak is properly creepy. There's no two ways about it. That is a gross image. Like, uh, it just looks wrong. It looks off. There's almost something... I don't know. It feels like there's something almost, like, Lovecraftian about that. About some sort of horrendous hidden secret just lurking under the surface, which you can spot, but, like, you have to be at the right angle for it. If you're looking at him head-on, you're not going to know, necessarily, that there's a bunch of rat tails coming out of his coming out of his coat. But as soon as he walks past, or as soon as you get behind him, the grim awfulness is just right there. Combined with the fact that he himself is quite a slim figure, like the legs are very slim, like quite taut, like long-legged as well for, for the height he is, it, it all kind of combines to create this very sort of otherworldly kind of eldritch character. Again, I really like him. I, th I just think they're doing such a good job on this vampire stuff. Like, for, it feels like for, for every kind of traditional sort of vampire that we're getting, we're getting something that's a little bit, like, a little bit out of left field, a little bit weird, a little bit a little bit different, and this definitely falls into that category. This is, like, this is a kind of cool twist on the idea. Turning into a swarm of rats instead of bats, having that represented underneath the cloak, and, yeah, I really like it. I think it looks great. That's a solid model. That is a solid model. It's all kind of combining to create this... This really kind of, this nice mix of traditional, well, I mean, it's clearly a vampire, in it? Mixed with this kind of just overtly creepy, otherworldly, not, not exactly, not exactly traditional, kind of playing on traditional tropes, but just, just that extra level of weird, that extra level of, of kind of horror-y, in a way. That's not a real word, but it's fine. I really like this. I like this a lot. I'm just, I don't know, I th I'm just getting increasingly excited for all this vampire stuff. Between that and Cursed City, it's just, there's just so many, like, interesting and fun models coming out of that side of things at the moment. Really like it. Really like it. It looks great. Question is, what do you reckon? Do you like this lad? Do you think he looks good? Do you think he looks creepy as anything? Are you not too bothered by rats? A rat's fine, although I, I say that. Normal-sized rats, I think I'd be alright with. Not necessarily a fan, but I'm not going to be like, get that away from me. A rat of that size, it, I'm not having that. No, it's just not on. Not, I don't accept it. Get it away from me. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. In the meantime, feel free to click all the things. Patreon, to subscribe, all that stuff. Click it if you like. Don't click it if you don't want to. And as always, there's an affiliate link in the description for Element Games, which you can use to support the channel if you would like. I leave it in your capable hands. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.